Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. What about you? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Did you have a good day today? Yes. All right, awesome. Good. Okay, thank you so much for being on time, everybody. Do you have any question about any exercise on the platform before we start? Or everything is good? All good? All right. Okay, uh, we're going to start then if there are no more questions about the platform or any exercise. Uh, yesterday we were practicing infinitives to provide suggestion. So we're going to make a, an exercise that was pending yesterday. Just let me share the presentation with you. Okay, this is what we did yesterday. Okay, um, yes, back. All right, yesterday we were giving advice using infinitives, as you may recall. So today we're going to make a review. So we have this, uh, this in part C, we need to write advice for these problems that we have here. We have a call, sir eye, a sunburn, and sir muscles. Um, for example, for a cold, it is a good idea to, and you continue with the infinity. For example, for a cold, it's a good idea to, drink hot tea okay now um you will do the we will do the same with this a uh, cold sore eyes sunburns and muscles remember that you have to use the complete uh, structure it is important to it is sometimes helpful to or uh, it's a good idea to and give your suggestions at least one Search each problem. So I'm going to give you time and you can work in your notebooks. And after you finish, we're going to share your answers. Finish. Uh, 
have you finished? Or you need more time? All right, volunteers. Volunteers. Uh, miss, uh, oh. I, I volunteer. Thank you, Fernando. Uh, for example, for a sunburn, it's a good idea to put an ointment. To put an ointment, okay. To it's Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only one, Fernando? Uh, for other example, for a sore muscle, it's good idea to put a pad with cold water. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent job, Fernando. Thank you so much for your participation. You did it great and very well right in the examples. Excellent. And you get the pronunciation of muscles. So, excellent. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Joanna. Uh, a call. You sure to drink cold syrup? And eh, chamomile, eh, como manzanilla, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Chamomile. Chamomile tea. Oh, okay. Is it a good idea to drink chamomile tea? Or it's sometimes helpful to drink chamomile tea. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Joanna. Yes. Anything else? Thank you. Mm. Only that. Only that. Thank you so much for your yeah. patience. You Thank did it good. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Um, for a short ages, it is a good 
to see Tía. a doctor. Okay, for sore eyes, it's a good idea to see a doctor. All right, excellent. It sounds good, Karen. Any other example? Uh, for a zumbo, easy, idea, como se dice? Uh, idea. Idea to put uh, somewhere on oin, oin. To put some ointment. Ointment. Mm -hmm. With aloe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent, Karen. Anything else? Me teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Karen. You did it great. Carla? Uh, a bad cage, a uh, full song, I mean oint. Oh, for a bad cake. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Put some ointment on it. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, a fever. Uh, go to the doctor. Fever. It's a good idea to go to the doctor. Uh huh. Anything else, Carla? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just that. That's all. Yes. Just okay, that. excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. You did it good. Any other volunteer? Me, Jasmine. Yes, Carla? Uh, okay, uh, for a cold, uh, it's a good idea to drink a lot of a lot of water because that is very helpful for when you have a big uh, sore throat too, and take a, a, how do you say menta? Mint. Uh, it's a good idea to drink uh, mint tea because it's really helpful. Uh, in the case of sore eyes, um, it's a good idea when you, when, to put uh, eye drops or put some slices of tomato in your eyes because it's, it's very fresh. So you can, you can, you can get uh, relaxed and it's very helpful too. Uh, in the case of sore muscles, uh, it's, it's a good idea if you take uh, some aspirin, a pill. How do you say uh, aspirina? Uh, for a sunburn? No, for a sore muscle. Ah, for sore muscles. It's the same, aspirin. Uh, take some aspirin. Or oh, maybe you can uh, go to the, you should go to the, the doctor. All right. Excellent. That's all. Perfect, Carla. Thank you so much. Thank you for participating. Anybody else? Me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alejandra, thank you. Yes, about the toe hair, the toe, college, um, see the dentist because maybe you can, you have to get a hole, big hole in you and you see, or about, <laughs> about your teeth, right? Um, the dentist, maybe fix your big hole, <laughs> I don't know, oh, something like that. Oh, <laughs> and sounds then painful. Can... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know, it's the pain. <laughs> okay, if you brush your teeth, okay, you know, you never get a hole in your teeth, right, okay. And then uh, the dentist maybe said take a, uh, you have to take uh, some aspirin for the your the Lord. How say you the, the pain? Lord. The hurt, mm -hmm. the pain. Okay, okay. That's All it. right, excellent. Thank you so much, Alejandra, for your participation. Yes. You did it good. Anybody else has any other suggestion? Me teacher. Mm -hmm. And number. Seven, a bird. Uh, uh -huh. Put some 
on on men on it. Okay. And, and take acetaminophen, no, como se dice. Uh -huh. For pain. Acetaminophen for the pain. Acetaminophen okay. For the pain. For pain. Mm -hmm. Excellent suggestion. Thank you so much, Ruth. Okay. So, uh, well, to continue here, we have uh, this other part with difficult situations vocabulary. We have uh, six situations. Let's read. I get really hungry before I go to bed. I sometimes feel really stressed. I need to study, but I can't concentrate. I feel sick before every exam. I forget about half the new words I learn. I get nervous when I speak English to foreigners. Mm -hmm. Any question with this vocabulary or the pronunciation of these words? Yeah, okay, me have a question. Yeah. Me mm -hmm. have a question. Okay, uh, about the stress, the stress or stress. Ah, they were stressed. The letter T sounds like in the end, like mm -hmm. sound uh, T at the end. Mm -hmm. Stressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is what is foreign foreigners? Foreigners, extranjeros. Extranjeros. Mm -hmm. Okay, miss. Extranjeros. Foreigner. Is there any other question? Miss, ¿qué significa half? Está... Half, la mitad. Uh -huh. La mitad. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. I have a question, Miss. Yes, Elsa. Uh, you, you feel sick. You, feel, you, you are sick. Uh, I'm not feeling really well today. <laughs> but I I think I'm gonna be better. Yes, uh, tomorrow because I have been uh, drinking uh, vitamin stars for today. Uh, okay, I I I have a drink. Uh, you have a drink, much uh, water and tea, ginger. Oh, ginger tea. Yes, I will. Yeah. yeah, I haven't considered that. And uh, yes, the thing is that I, I was I was sick. Um, I got a bad cold at about uh half a month ago. So I think uh, oh. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because the 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 best is sore throat. Yeah, I have a sore throat and running out. <laughs> a uh, stuff. Maybe you got a vitamin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm no, having yeah. vitamin D e boosters to get better. <laughs> Thank you so much for your recommendations. Um, okay, you're welcome, Miss. Okay, uh, any other question before we do this exercise? I have a question. Hmm? The pronunciation of concentrarse. Concentrate. Concentrate. Mm -hmm. Concentrate. Concentrate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the idea is for you to get in groups and uh, write at least three 
suggestions for each one. The idea here is to use the structure of the infinitives that we see here. It is important to, it is sometimes helpful to, it's a good idea to, etc. So you have to use the complete structure and provide at least three pieces of advice for, uh, um, for these situations. For example, the first one, I get really hungry before I go to bed. So what can we suggest? Mm, so we can say sometimes it is helpful mm, to- Maybe you discipline your stomach. Mm, it is helpful to, mm -hmm, to, or to drink lots of water <laughs> and then okay sometimes it is helpful to drink lots of water or so as alejandro said it it is a good idea to discipline your stomach so or uh-huh to get used uh, to some habits right mm -hmm. um so we have to give three for each one. And you can do it in your notebook so that we can share it um, in the main section. So I'm going to create a breakout rooms and try to, to write at least three suggestions for each of the situations. Una reunión de mi trabajo. Okay. Así que solo voy a escuchar porque no voy a hacer que me llame la atención aquí en el trabajo. Ok, también. Gracias. No hay problema. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer, okay. Carla? Uh, yo entendí que tres situaciones hay que ver de acuerdo al, a lo, al apartado que estaba ahí que leímos. Sobre las enfermedades. No, perdón. Es a uh, tres sugerencias uh, por cada una de las uh, uh, situaciones que estaban en, en la slide que estábamos viendo. Uh, déjeme ver si la encuentro. Ok, aquí está. Ahorita se las comparto en el WhatsApp para que puedan... Había diez. Okay. Okay. Ahí está en el grupo de WhatsApp. De eso ahí tenemos seis situaciones. La primera dice, I get really hungry before I go to bed. Entonces tiene que dar al menos tres sugerencias para cada una usando la estructura que ya vimos con los infinitivos diciendo is a good idea to, it is important to, y después del to acuérdense que hay que poner un verbo. El ejemplo que les di por este de I get uh, really hungry before I go to bed era uh, it's a good idea to drink lots of water. Tomar mucha agua si le da hambre antes de ir a la cama. Y ustedes pueden escribir otras 
I sometimes feel really stressed. Que pueden recomendarle a alguien que se siente muy estresado. So you can say, it is uh, sometimes helpful to take long walks. Dar caminatas largas a veces puede servir, etc. It is a good idea or it is sometimes helpful to, to take long walks. Y así or tienen que hacer to tres. Do exercise. Oh, to do exercise. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Y lo pueden hacer en el cuaderno, no importa, solo tomando notas. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Entonces solo de tomar tres y de esas tres damos alguna sugerencia de las que están ahí. Ah. De bebé. Es que te es tomar, ¿verdad? Ay, ya no va. Ya no va a quitar el tiempo. Va, esa es una. A otra. Oh, ¿qué se ando llama? viendo qué están haciendo. <risa> la segunda va a contestar. Eh, Miss, y todas las vamos a contestar o, la, o las que sí. nosotros elijamos. Eh, la idea es que todas, pero por cuestión de tiempo. Quieren nada tiempo, más que escojan. Sí, porque... O, o, ajá. o, sería, o sería dos y, y solo damos dos sugerencias. Porque dice tres, ¿verdad? Uh, tres para cada caso. Ah, ajá. Hay casos, digamos. Entonces, híjole, serían un montón de... de... Ajá, por... Entonces, tengo bastante. Ajá, por ejemplo, uh, pueden escoger tres nada más. Eh, ¿Qué podría ¿Y ser? siempre damos las tres sugerencias o solo damos dos sugerencias? Si quieren, agarran tres situaciones y ponen dos sugerencias para cada una. Ah, eh, okay. Por ejemplo, las más fáciles podría ser I sometimes feel really stressed. Ajá. Entonces, Una vez me siento cansado. Uh, it is a good idea to, to exercise, to release stress. You have to go to the beach. ¿Cómo se dice? Un baño de agua tibia. Excellent ¿sí? idea to go to the beach. Ah, un baño de agua tibia. Ah, it is a great idea. Um, a cold, no, it would, it would be a warm water uh, bath. Uh -huh. Warm water bath. Mm -hmm. Warm. Yes. Warm water bath. bath. Uh -huh. eh, ponerle ahí it is a good idea to have a warm water bath it's sometimes helpful to go to the beach and have a cocktail <laughs> a beer and a beer or <laughs> Listen, music. All right, uh -huh. a dance, uh -huh. dance, a dancing, 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 A ver, otra que vamos a escoger. Uh, I need to study. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yo solo tengo las tres primeras, si quieren. También el que está, el que está también fácil puede ser el que. Um, dice, I feel sick before every exam. Every exam. Uh -huh. Podría ser. Se siente Pero enfermo después de un examen. No, antes. Es antes. Antes, antes de eso. Antes. Antes. Before, maybe. Yes, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Psychology. Sorry, sorry. Deberían poner, deberían poner. Ajá. Ay, nerviosa. Ay, sí. Before. Ah, uh, se puede poner como. Hay algo de idea. Es de descansar. Y es algo de idea. I need sleep. To... Yeah. Idea. Sleep. Yeah. Idea. Um, sleep. 
all okay. night before the camp. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué sería bueno para quitar el... Ah, no sentirse enfermo antes de un examen. Relajarse, va. Uh -huh. uh, sleep enough all night long. Dormir. <laughs> Dormir, ajá. Uh -huh. So you can yeah. say it's, it's recommendable to sleep all night long before the exam. Recuerden seguir poniendo del infinitivo. It is a good idea to y luego uh -huh. el sleep en este caso. It is a good idea to sleep all night before the exam. Mm -hmm. oh. Like. Um, so, um, can Para no enfermarse, para no sentirse enfermo. Um, take a vitamin. What is eso? Una vitamin. Okay, um, I'm sure that you did your job. So I'm going to check attendance so that we can continue and maybe share a couple of the sentences that you have. Remember, if it is possible to turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your names. Okay. Amilcar Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Angelica Yamilet. I'm here, Miss. Delia del Carmen. Thank you, Celia. David Alberto. Present. Thank you. Edson Stanley Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Elena Noemi Chorro. Elena Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you, Elena. Elvira, Elvira Lorenza Álvarez. Elvira Álvarez. Acaba de escribir en el, en el chat. Dice uh -huh. present. Yes. Thank you so much. Noted here. 
Fernando Alberto. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. And let's continue with Iris Elena. I'm here, teacher. Oh, thank you, Did Iris. You Is it Iris Elena? Thank you, Iris. Mm, no, no, no. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Joanna. Okay. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Fernando. Jose Fernando Hernández. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Carla Selena. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Carla Yasmin. Present. Thank you. Catherine Alejandra. Catherine Alejandra. Kevin Alexander. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Alejandro. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Reina. Ruth Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruth. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Thank you, Samuel. And Jancy Astre. Present teacher. All right, thank you so much. Okay, now that we check attendance, uh, let's move. I heard you were practicing and doing a very good job with the, with the recommendation. I know the time is not enough, so maybe you didn't finish. Um, but yes, let's share. Is there any volunteer? that would like to share? Elena, thank you. No, teacher, una consulta. No sé si me colocó en asistencia porque yo escuché a Elena y primero escuché mi nombre y después Iris y Elena y yo contesté por ella. Oh, ok. Mm. Veamos. Elena. Elena Noemi, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Ajá, ahí está Elena, muchas gracias por confirmar. Y ya borré a Iris y Elena. Ya me parecía raro porque no ha aparecido en ninguna clase. Y ahora dijo present. So, thank you so much. Now, um, if that somebody would like to share the uh, recommendation of the previous exercise we were working with. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, we have Joanna and after Joanna, we're going to listen to Edson. Okay. Uh, I get really hungry before to go to bed. It's a good idea to drink a uh, meat last it's important to eat dinner early. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea to eat fruit in that case. All right, excellent, Joanna, very well done. Thank you so much for sharing. Now let's listen Thank to you. Edson. What do you have, Edson? Okay, uh, I sometimes feel really stressed. Uh, uh, it's sometimes helpful to drink a tea. It's sometimes helpful to listen music. It's a good idea to go to the gym. 
that's it. Excellent. Excellent recommendations. Very good job with the grammar. Thank you so much for sharing. Now let's listen to Carla Selena. Okay, teacher. In the oration day, I get the really angry before I go to the bed. And the recommendation are you should drink some water. You should eat uh, some fruit. And you should drink manzanilla tea. Chamomile tea. Okay. And the other one is I sometimes feel really stressed. And I consider that you should do the ex exercise in the morning. You should read a book. And I consider that you should walk on this on the sea. All right. On the Make teacher, me teacher. Excellent. Good suggestion. Very well done. Thank you so much for sharing. And then I heard somebody else. Mm. Next. Me, teacher. Okay, Fernando, thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, in this. Uh, I feel sick before every exam. Uh, I should pray a lot. Of. Uh, you should? No, I pray. should. Or oh, I should pray, pray a lot. Of. Pray a lot. Okay, pray yeah, a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent idea. <laughs> Any other um, suggestion? Okay, so uh, we can continue with the next exercise that we have in the material, uh, which is vocabulary. Uh, okay, this is vocabulary about containers. Okay, we have the containers here, as you can see, it's bag, bottle, box, pen, jar, pack, stick, tube. And then we have some items here. Um, as you can see, here are some items. For example, the toothpaste, aspirins, bandages, shaving cream, tissues, face cream, cough drops, and deodorant. Any question about this vocabulary? Your, the last one, cough, cough. Cough drops. Drops. Cough drops. Drops, okay. Cough drops. Mm -hmm. And the meaning of the pronunciation, what is it? The pronunciation. Okay, yes, it's cough, like F at the end, cough, drops. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Miss, what is the meaning of pieces? Tissues. Tissues is like, a, well, the most well-known brand here in El Salvador are Kleenex. Mm -hmm. it's paper. Kleenex. Uh -huh. Paper tissues that you can use when you got a runny nose, for example. Ah, uh, son como pañuelos de papel. Pañuelos, pañuelos. Papeles. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Pañuelos. Son húmedos. pañuelos desechables. Pañuelos desechables. Uh -huh. O Kleenex, como los comúnmente. Ajá, uh -huh. de hecho, lo, oh. los más conocidos. The white piece. Uh, los wipes son para limpiar y son mm -hmm. más bien como húmedos mm -hmm. uh, wipes. Pero mm -hmm. estos tissues son pañuelos desechables, como los Kleenex, papelitos. Mm -hmm. okay, Any other question? You. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so we're going to uh, 
match them, but um, I want to stop sharing this one. Or maybe I can share without stopping here. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes I see. Teacher. Yes, miss, yes. Now let's match uh, a bag. A bag of what can match here? A bag of? Match with this one. We cannot say that it's a bag of... Uh, well, let's start with toothpaste. Toothpaste. Can that be a bag of toothpaste? No, right? Mm. So, which is the correct container for toothpaste? A tube. A tube. Yes, you can see here. A tube of toothpaste. Now, of aspirin. Bottle, a pack. Yes, a bottle of aspirin. Excellent. Number three of bandages. A pack. Um, a box. Uh huh. Yes, correct. A box. A box of bandages. Uh, now of uh, shaving cream. Two. Two. Mm. Two. A bottle. Bottle. Mm. Um, box. Oh, no. A box of shaving cream? No. <laughs> oh. Like a, a can, like a can, like a can, bottle can, or something like that. Can, mm -hmm. una lata, digamos. A can yes. of shaving cream. Excellent. Thank you so much. Bottle can. Miss, bottle can, or um, can, like a can. Number four is a can of shaving cream. Now, uh, of tissues. What's for tissues? What's the container? Box. Mm, we have already used box. Ya usamos box and la de bandages. Si no es box, no puede ser para... Botella, botella, bottle, bottle. No, bottle no. No vienen en... A pack. Ajá. Excellent. Number five, a pack of tissues. A pack of tissues. Uh, a face cream. Number six, face cream. Bottle. Uh, a bottle. No, ya usamos bottle. Two. And a number two. Uh, jar. Uh, a two. jar. A jar. A jar. A jar of face cream. Number seven of cough drops. What does it mean cough drop? Um, the bag. Just, uh, blister. A bag. How do you say blister uh -huh. in English? No, a mm -hmm. uh, this is blister as well. Blister. And in this case, they are in a bag. A bag of cough drops. Cough drops cough. son co mm, como si um, para... caramelos para la tos. Uh -huh. no son cough drops. Uh -huh. Caramelos para la tos son los cough drops. And yeah. y están en una bolsita aquí. A bag of cough drops. And the last one that we are leaving, number eight, a uh, of the other end. I think it's jar. Jar, uh, for example, Ya barra. usamos jar. No, um, jar no es barra. Stick. Stick. Excellent. Stick. A stick of the other end. Stick as barra, mm -hmm. a stick of the other end. All right, so that's about containers. Now let's listen to a conversation when there is this vocabulary. Let me share the screen with you and we're going to uh, watch this one. What do you suggest? This is the conversation.
as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay, this is the conversation that you just heard in the platform. Is there any question about it? Questions? No okay. question, teacher. No? Okay, no. so we're going to develop the exercise here in letter B. And this one, uh, we're going to list to the pharmacist to talk to the next customer, okay? In this case, he was talking to this uh, old lady. She was the customer. Now the pharmacist is talking to a different customer and we have to gather this information. What does the customer want? I'm going to play the audio and you will have to uh, get that information. What does the customer want? I'm going to play it twice. Let's listen. Page 81, exercise eight, part B. Listen to the pharmacist talk to the next customer. What does the customer want? Excuse me, yes. How can I help you? Um, what do you suggest for a backache? Well, you should take some aspirin. And it's a good idea to use a heating pad. Oh, and where is the aspirin? In aisle five, right over there. Page 81, exercise eight, part B. Listen to the pharmacist talk to the next customer. What does the customer want? Excuse me. Yes. How can I help you? Um, what do you suggest for a backache? Well, you should take some aspirin. And it's a good idea to use a heating pad. Oh, and where is the aspirin? In aisle five, right over there. Okay, uh, what does the customer want? A bucket. Bucket. A bucket. Something? Uh -huh. bucket. He wants, a bucket. Uh -huh. He wants something. He wants the bucket. The bucket. Uh -huh. bucket. Okay. He wants something for the bucket. Now, uh, the pharmacist suggests aspirin. Uh huh. The pharmacist suggested aspirin, aspirin. and what Fine. else? Fine. Fine. And a heating Fine. pad. Excellent. Very good listeners. You are good listeners. Uh, now I'm going to play the recording of the conversation so that you practice it at home, and then we're going to move to breakout rooms for uh, more practice. Remember that I'm going to stop after each interaction so that you can repeat. Page 81, exercise eight, conversation. What do you suggest? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, 
Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Sure. Why don't you try these cough drops? They work very well. Okay, I'll take one box. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Well, you could get a jar of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay. Uh, is there any question about the vocabulary or something that catch your attention here? No, miss. We okay? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I have a question in, in the pronunciation of getting a call. Getting. Like are getting. I'm getting a call. I think a I'm getting a call. I'm getting a call. Hmm? Carla? Uh, what is the meaning of cough drops? Cough drops son uh, como dulcitos para la tos. Dulces para okay. la tos, cough drops. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any other question? Yes, uh, what, is, what is the pronunciation of large bottles? Large. 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 large bottles. La talla, large. Large bottles. Bottles. Uh -huh. Excelente. Large Como con bottles. Bottles. Uh -huh. bottles. Mm -hmm. Um, teacher. Yes, Nini. Um, and they say he he should try some of this. ¿Qué significa? Uh, should es un auxiliar. Ese va a ser el tema de mañana. Ese auxiliar se usa para dar sugerencias. Si lo queremos interpretar al español, sería como uh, deberías. Ajá, deberías de probar. You should try. Deberías probar. Should and shouldn't. Should. Uh -huh. okay. shouldn't. Como decir, es, es, debería tomar o debería probar vitaminas o algo así dice. El negativo, que okay. es should uh -huh. not o shouldn't. Por ejemplo, si alguien tiene un resfriado y usted le dice, no deberías de comer helado. Por ejemplo, you shouldn't uh, eat ice cream. Ajá. Uh -huh. También se pueden re dar recomendaciones usando el auxiliar en negativo. Ajá. You shouldn't uh, drink uh, cold drinks. No deberías de tomar um, bebidas heladas. Uh -huh. Ese va a ser el tema de mañana. Eh, bueno, eh, lastimosamente se nos terminó el tiempo y no pudimos practicar la conversación, pero mañana vamos a iniciar la clase. Uh, practicándola en la sección principal. Así es que uh, recuerden que tienen esta conversación en, en la plataforma por si la quieren volver a escuchar, está ahí. 
nada más que el dibujito es diferente, es otra viejita, otro uh -huh. farmacista. Uh -huh. But it's the same conversation. So you can listen okay. again and practice y luego lo hacemos juntos en la sección principal. Ok. Thank you so much. I, I will try to do something. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.